The Washington State Cougars knew what they were up against tonight as they opened Pac-10 play against the top-ranked team in the nation. They knew they'd have to play perfect to beat USC. The only thing close to perfect tonight, the Trojans themselves. Before the game, Cougs said they were up to the challenge. John David Booty giving them their test early. To the back of the end zone to a leaping Fred Davis. Count it, USC up 7-0 in the first. Cougs fire back, though. The cap off an 83-yard drive. Alex Brink to Jed Collins. We're all tied up at sevens in the early goings. But the Trojans kick it into high gear. Booty kicks it into high gear to Davis again. Dives in for the score. Trojans up 27-7 at the break. They keep right on going in the second half. Booty to Chauncey Washington. Sheds a few defenders. Stays on his feet. He's into the end zone. USC up 34-7 in the third quarter. They cruise from there. 47-14, their 35th straight win at home. Rick Lukens has more from the L.A. Coliseum. If there was any doubt the Cougars were playing the number one team in the nation, you won't find any doubters now amongst the Cougar players. You know, you see a lot of big guys, but I don't think I've ever seen so many big guys before in my life. You know, you got two, you know, their second string, third string, all really first string players, you know, great players that come off the bench and play the way they do. Coach Bill Dope is not sure his team made any more mistakes than usual, but mistakes against a team like the Trojans, he says, seem a lot bigger than normal. They are magnified by the team you play. You make a mistake against them, they're going to, you can see it's like piranhas going after a piece of meat there in that end of, that, end of the half, you know, they just started going to stuffing our run and, and uh, flying around the ball. The Cougars say their confidence is not shaken. They say they may have even improved in this game, and they'll be ready for next week's game at Arizona. From Los Angeles, Rick Lukens, KXLY 4 News.